Senator, sabi ng Malacanang eh, kahit naman daw maliit yung capitalization, saka kahit meron naman kaso yung ibang official ng kumpanya, basta daw nakapag-deliver, they were able to deliver. Wala naman daw masama doon, ano ba daw masama doon? Mali yun, and I'm disappointed that uh, uh, a lawyer like uh, Secretary Roque, Roque asserts that because the law requires uh, that you check on the legal qualification, on the financial capacity. You are entering into an agreement with a uh, company whose capitalization is 625,000. You give them purchase orders, supply orders of, of, of 7.6 billion. So the law requires that there be a, a, a check on the legal capacity and on the financial capacity. In fact, the law uh, requires that there must be a prior uh, experience or uh, background uh, check on these, uh, uh, on these suppliers. Uh, the, the fact that the, that, that the, doc, that the uh, goods were delivered, is that a defense? I, I, I'm sorry, it is not a defense. You must comply with uh, the, the law. You, you know, the mere fact that nothing happened, is that an excuse? Suppose yeah, something happened. You're, you're talking about the procurement law kasi baka naman sasabihin nila sa bayanihan law. Uh, uh, get know, away with yeah. that or suspended that. No, there is nothing. There is nothing in the bayanihan law that suspended the requirement that a memorandum of agreement should be signed when you transfer the funds from one, uh, uh, from one uh, department to the other. There is nothing in the bayanihan law which says that you can purchase the equipment even if it's higher than market or overpriced. And here, the problem with this issue is that, look, I have the records here. Uh, on April, uh, on April uh, 16, uh, uh, no, no, yeah, in, oh, no, on April 16, that's right. The uh, formally they, uh, entered into a purchase agreement with the government for face masks. At 2250, uh, per, uh, the quantity or the 2.4 million face masks. Uh, but a week before that, on April 8, they purchased the same face mask at 16 pesos. Now, uh, now, um, uh, and then uh, a number of purchases were made. The last uh, purchase from Farmerly in April was on April 20 at 22 pesos for face mask and one week after that on april 27 uh, ems components assembly sold to the government for 13 pesos and 50 centavos so you, you know how do you justify disparity. this, this yeah. disparity not only that another another thing that i discovered you know it is they, they awarded uh, over six billion uh, in contracts to formally in a span of uh, two months or three months from April uh, April uh, 8 to June 2020. We thought that was all. We discovered that in 2021, they again <laughs> sold uh, and purchased about three billion more or, or there, thereabouts. We have all the records now. So really, uh, this is something that you cannot avoid but raise questions. Formally, its sales in 2020 were all the sales to the government, 7 billion, 485 million. Under their, uh, their financial statement, the cost of sales is 7 billion. What does this mean? This means that formally simply got from a manufacturer and moved it to the Philippines. That's why, uh, and, and, and uh, sold it for 7485000 Their cost is $7 billion now. So they made a profit before income taxes of $378 million. Question, why couldn't this have been a government-to-government -government transaction? Why did we have to pass through a middleman Ranger. who is not a manufacturer who is also a trade who is a trader if you listen to the testimony of uh, of, of, the, of the administration people 
They said it was so urgent that we even talked to the Chinese ambassador. If Yes, so if we accept that. So why did they get to a government-to-government -government transaction? We are supposed to be close allies with China. Why couldn't we have purchased it directly and removed the middlemen and save at least uh, uh, $378 million in, uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, declared net income? or profit of, uh, of, uh, of primary. So, okay. and then, so these are, these are questions yes. that have not been answered.